I think that there are very few psychics, real psychics, out there. There are so many scam artists out there. Um, so many people that are just after the money. I've been in New York since I was 28 and I'm about to be 66. I started a palmistry in my late 20s, so it, it was probably my mid-30s before I was actually practicing it. It is a science. It's, anybody can read hands, and especially read hands the way that the sidewalk psychic reads hands. People want to know things that nobody can tell them, although a lot of people who think they know will tell them what they want to hear or whatever they think that, you know, that they can get away with. <laughs> Predicting the future, that's not something that I do. I um, will, based on a person's character, um, kind of say that unless they change this, it's likely that they're, they're moving in this direction, that this is what's going to happen. You can get a lot of detail from the, the lines in the hands. So you'll know uh, just how vulnerable a person is. Uh, you'll know whether they're having relationships problems or not. And if it feels right, I'll come out and say it. Um, even though sometimes I'm not exactly sure that I'm, I'm right. Of course, you can tell whether you're right or not wrong just by looking at the person, because it'll show in their eyes. If you're if you're on the wrong track, you've got to go make a you know a detour. And you know people take advantage of people are really good at that. It's it's reading the you know the body language and the signs and things like that. I've kind of established 12 basic character types. Um, that's how I see the hands, and it, that's based on astrology, as you have 12 signs. I prefer to use a, a, a Jungian typology, um, so that there's four basic, you know, thinking, feeling, intuitive, uh, and I call it practical, but sensation type. And then within those four types, there are three modalities, meaning very flexible hands, which shows a very adaptable person, um, very inflexible hands, which shows a very fixed person, um, and then there's a cardinal uh, type who, you know, is very active and um, they're, they have very elastic hands. We're all living these archetypes in ourselves and uh, attracted other archetypes who are still the same old gods that, you know, in Greek myth and Roman mythology. And everybody falls into it. Everybody fits. There's nobody that doesn't fit. Every journey is the same journey, only different. Well, when I look at your hands, I see a basically square palm with shortish fingers. Mm -hmm. it, okay. it tells me you're a, a, a sensation type and you're fixed because the thumb is sort of stiff and there's this co connection between lifeline and headline here. Um, shows me that change is challenging for you. That's, you know, beginnings and endings are hard. I would say the palm reading was about 80 to 90 percent accurate. It was quite surprising what he could gather out of uh, just my hands. But it wouldn't surprise me if you said those same words to somebody else and you got 90, 100 percent accuracy on how they felt about the reading. I think that people want other people to f have answers for them so that they don't have to take a responsibility. The psychic tells you then, well, hey, you know, it must be true. It's not good, you know, having, knowing something doesn't make it fixed. It doesn't, you know, it, it only means that you're recognizing, a, you know, something. I myself internalize and rationalize a lot of things that uh, go on with my life from even an external point of view. I try to remove uh, and maybe take a step back from the emotional aspect and uh, consider what is going on, why am I thinking certain things, uh, even look at myself from a third party perspective sometimes. I think 
many people, they forget to look at themselves. I suppose a bit of a relief or calming to uh, have an external person rationalise and articulate for you who you, who you are. Um, this is what the sidewalk psychics prey on because they, they look and people think, well, there must be some reason that I'm having these problems and they, they, they have trouble looking inside. And a lot of people that go to sidewalk psychics are people with large neon hands in the windows uh, tend to um, be looking for answers. It's a very dangerous thing to, to give answers. I think that you want people to think for themselves. You want to just be a reflection for them. You want to be like a mirror, like a talking mirror. You, you want them to come to things on their own because you're not telling them anything they don't already know. You're basically um, affirming or you're confirming what people already know. They may not know that they or be conscious of it, but they do realize it. They do recognize it. You're the only one that, that knows what's really right.